Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vilo, Vilo, Vilo. Today we're going to be blasting Spain's Atrixy, Where All Hope Fades, on MSUO, Dark Descent Records. Awesome, doomy, Spanish death metal. Killer, killer shit. If you're a fan of their older material, I definitely suggest checking this out. It's a little more doomy, but it's fucking sick. I, I really love it. I threw the B-side on. Pretty sure I threw the B-side on, actually. So, we'll enjoy that, since it's fucking so good. Love the artwork. Love all of Atrixie's material, but this is actually probably one of my favorites. And in my opinion, one of the more underrated death metal releases of 2018. I haven't really seen anyone else talk about this outside of like a few people on Instagram and stuff. But sick, sick shit from Atrixy. But today I want to talk about my love hate relationship with black metal. Okay? Now, I. That used to be pretty much for a time period, like all I listened to. Like, I had this phase where I was just like a little burned out on death metal, and um, I was just like, dude, I, I I need to get back into like some some black metal and stuff. And this was after like you know years and years of like listening to Dissection, Bathory, you know the usual suspects, pretty much. And I was looking for something like new, but not new new. Like I knew about blasphemy, but I remember being like, I wonder, cause I didn't, I kind of just steered clear a little bit for a few years. Like I really just like pretty much just listened to obituary and fucking shit like that. Like um, early sepultura obituary. But when I say early sepultura, I'm not talking about like the bestial, gnarly stuff. Like, I'm talking about, you know, uh, fucking um, Beneath the Remains and stuff like that. And uh, it was sick. Like, I mean, for years though, like, it was kind of like, huh, I'm hanging out with Schnell. I guarantee we're gonna start this car ride out with Cryptopsy's None So Vile. He's gonna turn it off after Graves of the Fathers. He's gonna throw on Suffocation's Effigy of the Forgotten, then piss off half the car by putting on Macabre Sinister Slaughter, and then crushing everyone by throwing on this... I had this cassette version of Incantations Onward to Golgotha that had to have been, like, played 26,000 times. Not just by me, I got it used at my local record store. But, uh, <laughs> dude, it would, like, play kind of slower than usual, like, and it just was, it just sounded way heavier than it normally would. Because I remember I never had heard the CD version until Relapse reissued it in 2006 or 2005. It has a DVD and stuff, but... Yeah, it was before YouTube, so probably 2005, or it was the early days of YouTube, but anyways, but I just remember being like a little bit burned out on it, and at the time I was in a band and stuff, and nobody wanted to just do straight up death metal, and it really started bumming me out. But we started adding like more Funeral Doom elements, which started getting more and more into my life. But that's a tale for a totally different day. But black metal, especially like bands like Zatzer and Leviathan, really started, you know, catching my attention. And during this time period, you couldn't get a real Leviathan t-shirt. Like, he pretty much had it, so, like, you know, uh, like, it's as grim and true and whatever as possible. Like, if you were getting a Leviathan t-shirt, it was gonna be a bootleg 
from eBay. Where now, it's like, you, you get like Leviathan koozies, fucking... It's like fucking sleep, pretty much. Like, I'm sure you could put a crescent moon on this lighter and sell it for $10 or some shit. But, it's whatever. I don't, I, I don't care. But, I remember getting really into that kind of more, like, realistic form of black metal, if that makes any sense. Like, it was stuff I could more relate to than, like, all hail Satan and stuff like that. Like, I was, at the time, really into, like, Satanism and, you know, stuff like that through dissection and, you know, like, anti-cosmic magic and all that, like, craziness. But I didn't really know too much about it. I just thought it was interesting. But, um, as time went on with black metal, I remember I started getting, once again, a little bit bored with like just the whole really just lo-fi sad like I just started getting like all right like and then I remembered blasphemy and I was like all right fallen angel of doom let, let's listen to it again and I went to my local record store and yeah that pretty much you know opened the the door to Black Death for me personally because I remember my buddy at the record store being like hey if you like blasphemy you're gonna love sarcophago and I was like what what's that you know he's like oh it's early like South American you know black metal and I was like really and yeah INRI got in my hands and I know I don't have the brown cover but this right here is the blueprint to that whole, like, bestial, black death, fucking war metal sound. Alongside some other projects as well, but I feel like nobody did it like Sarcophago. Especially on the B side here. The way things start off with Christ's Fall, I meant Christ's Death uh, on side fall, it's just like... Oh my god, so fucking dialed, I, I love it. But then there's some other stuff on here, it's just like, you know, sleazy, like, sexualized stuff, kind of along the lines of, like, other fellow South Americans, volcano, um, sex trash, stuff like that, but I feel like Sarcophago were one of the early bands that did the Black Death thing very, very well. And from there, like I said, it just opened up these floodgates. And I have to I have to thank, you know, the almighty blasphemy, Ross Bay Cult Eternal. Because Fallen Angel of Doom seriously just opened up all of these fucking doorways to black death metal. And war metal in general, whatever you want to call it, bestial black death. What upon the altar demo is so goddamn good. I just saw Nuclear War Now put out the cassette. This is the Osmos Productions version of Gods of War. Has the Gods of War album. Some of the ugliest artwork ever, though. But you get the fucking demo, and that's all that matters on the B side. But Blasphemy, you know, opened the door to more Ross Bay cult bands like Procl Procl ah, Proclamation and like Conqueror and shit like that. And I was like, this is fucking gnarly and sick. And from there, I remember on a blind buy, I snagged this because I kept, I kept seeing it pop up everywhere. And that is Black Solis banished from time I kept seeing this pop up everywhere and this right here is the record that really drug me back down to hell and back down the black metal rabbit hole it's just a Portuguese black metal work of art everything Black Solis has done I'm missing uh, I think summoning I think that's what it's called, but another really, really, actually two really, really gnarly U.S. 
war metal black death bands I want to just real quick go over before I get into some really like actual black metal that I love but when it comes to black death these caveman cult savage wars destiny this right here is one of the most vicious black death bestial war metal assault ever from Florida just so fucking good if you've never heard caveman cult get on it like this is seriously the bees fucking knees and if you like caveman cult also check out antichrist siege column so fucking good and cura Fragrium. this is black seed of bestiality which has the 2015 demo and a 2017 live in chicago set which is so dialed you have an updated decapitated christ head chris moyen uh originally drew this but it was reinterpreted for this um, reissue of the demo and the live release. So fucking sick. Just look at that art. It's great. But Black Solace. Like, I know it has the Dark Throne vibe to it. And I'm not showing Dark Throne for a reason. Because to me, Dark Throne, and same thing like with, with a bunch of those kind of like second wave you know, Scandinavian black metal bands, do I really need to talk about them? You, you already, like, sh yes, I love Immortal. Yes, I love Early Emperor. You can check out my collection video on early, pre Nightside in the Eclipse Emperor. But when it comes to Black Solis, I remember, like, at first I was like, huh, like, just based off the artwork, the logo, I, I just, this was a blind buy. 100% blind buy. And I was just blown away by this bad boy. And I, next thing I know, I'm on like all sorts of websites looking for every single release. And I'm just missing a couple. But A Corpse of Temple is probably one of my favorite Black Solis releases. Again, just some of the most crazy, insane-sounding Portuguese black metal in the game. Mysteries as well, so fucking good. They're all, like, limited to 300, but they all have, like, different colors. And I think each run gets, like, 300, so... Yeah. Because I know they just printed, uh, well, they just pressed, like, uh clear copies of Banished Through Time. This is a blue one. But, uh, Banished From Time, sorry. But, like, the vocals on here legitimately sound like someone being tortured inside of a wind tunnel. It doesn't even sound human. And it's something that just draws me towards it. And it's fucking sick. Like, very, very, like, just, like, ritualistic, but at the same time, vicious and drenched in atmosphere. But with those vocals, it's just very otherworldly. And this dude is definitely into some gnarly necromancy and shit. So it's just very, very, it's a good listen. And lastly, real quick, I want to talk about one of my favorite US black metal bands real quick, and that is Demon Sea. Within the Sylvan Realms of Frost. Just absolutely, this is essential right here. Like, it's more along the lines of like kind of some Scandinavian black metal, but from America and just sick as fuck. I, 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 I love it. This is on red vinyl, but I'm um, getting to see these guys live with members of Cura Fragrium playing as well. It was just amazing. And Demon Sea, again, was one of those bands that just helped me back get back into black metal along with Mortium. Mortem, I mean, sorry. This tape rules. But I have these phases just like everybody else. But I'm running out of time. As always, thanks for watching.